not start with an um. <laughs> I can cut it. Yeah. Uh, I started working on Tech Crew because one of my friends were involved in sound, and I kind of was just tagging along for a summer. But our director had asked my sister and I if we were interested in coming in one morning and being some extra help to clean out the costume loft which is where we keep all of our wardrobe pieces and... Oh fuck, I didn't talk about like how I was quiet before. Okay. Shit. Okay. In the beginning of high school, I was kind of more quiet and shy, but one of my friends was involved with the tech crew. She did sound and I was sort of tagging along with her for a summer. And one morning, our director, Jeannie Gilbert, asked if I would be interested in helping clean out the costume loft. So my sister and I came in early for quite a few mornings for a few weeks um, where we would help sort through the pieces and kind of clean out what was no longer usable. And accidentally we sort of became the new costume girls. Uh, it was us and Linda Caprathy who were now head of the costume department. Yeah. It's a little short. Or... Okay. It's fine. It's fine. As long as we have it. As long as we got it. What was the best part of being involved? Besides working on the shows, um, the loft had become a part of my closet as well because the woman who was in charge let me take a lot of the pieces or like borrow pieces. So I was then able to kind of expand my closet. It was kind of uh, my second closet and. I you know, got prom dresses for free and borrowed homecoming dresses or if I just saw something that I wanted, I was pretty much able to take it. What was your favorite show to work on? My favorite show was probably American Idiot because I was solely in charge of it and doing the designs and finding pieces and going out and shopping for the things that we needed. Um, we did a lot of the beginning sketches and asked um, cast members to bring in what we needed if we didn't have it or if we couldn't find it. And overall, it was really fun to see our vision come to life when it was solely ours, I guess. For the most part, I worked with my sister and then a woman named Linda Caprathy who was head of the costume department. So it was mainly the three of us that worked on productions. Um, she would usually come up with the concepts that we had or like the things that we needed and then we sort of were her assistants and we um, would help her in creating the costumes and finding whatever we needed. Um, by the end of the four years though we were extremely close and she, we kind of just became best friends, you know? We confided in each other and it was just a nice environment to be working in. What was the most challenging part of the job? Um, it was probably trying to get along with people and learning to, I guess, handle stressful situations and more difficult situations because there were a lot of cast members who uh, we're not as respectful to the costume pieces once it was show week and it's stressful. They, at the end of the night, they didn't want to pick up their clothes, so they would leave, you know, handmade pieces that we had been spending months on, like crumpled up on the floor. <laughs> and it was extremely painful to see that and extremely frustrating. So we kind of had to learn how to nicely express to them that they needed to hang up their clothes. Well, at least you were able to get your feelings across. Yeah. We, had, we definitely had to hide some pieces um, from people to give them a little scare and uh, let them know that they should be picking them up. Did your involvement in theater lead to opportunities that wouldn't have happened otherwise? Uh, yes. Because I was so close with the department and the tech crew, Although costumes was kind of separate, we were still involved in all of the activities that our department worked on. So uh, I ended up joining Michigan Thespians, which is uh, where you go and you do a bunch of workshops and you get to meet um, 
you kind of just learn about different things in theater, but it also includes film. So we would submit um, work. Um, so I submitted a short film for two years, and each year I won a superior, and it kind of gained my interest in creating films and looking at them more visually. Um, and overall, I, it really just... Take your time, you got it. Say it, what is it? I don't remember where my last thought went out. Thespians. Thespians. Maybe I'll start talking about thespians. See, I had the flow. Yeah, you the did. The flow left. <sighs> it was really good. Yeah. Okay, maybe start the question over. Okay. <laughs> did your involvement in theater lead to opportunities you wouldn't have had otherwise? Yes, it definitely did. Um, although costumes wasn't directly a part of the tech crew or the cast of our theater department, we worked so closely with them and because of our relationships with our director, my sister and I were always invited to join in on different activities that we were doing. So one of the main ones was Michigan Thespians, which is where we would go and do, we would have learning workshops you could see shows and then you would also present a project that you worked on. So along with theater um, activities, there was also film. So I, for two years, I worked on different short films and submitted uh, different ones each year and I got a superior on both of them. So going to these workshops um, with like casting directors or script writers definitely inspired me and made me want to look into getting involved in film a little bit more. How did it impact you overall? Uh, it definitely made me more of an outgoing person. I think when I first started my sophomore year, I was definitely a bit more timid and quiet and I didn't have, I had a different sort of friend group, but throughout my time there, the people in the theater became my closest friends and because it, you spend so much time with everyone and everyone that you're working with, you form such close bonds that it just, it makes you kind of more comfortable not only with them, but also just with yourself and other people. And that's kind of just the way theater people sort of are. They are very outgoing and it kind of, even though I wasn't on stage, it definitely rubbed off on me, I would say. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Was that our last question? That was. That was your last question. Okay. Yeah.